Hello, I'm JT Quicks. I love you all. You're all awesome. This week, we're going to talk about I don't bow and break to prejudice and hate. Okay? I don't bow and break to prejudice and hate, and I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. Okay? All right? So, that's going to be the name of the video is, I don't bow and break the prejudice and hate. And that's how I delivered my soul to heaven. Now, maybe I'll make it something like that, okay? Uh, Twelve years ago, I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven, okay? I was being attacked by prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, okay? All right? I could see prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. I see evil. Okay? I see the truth in real time. Okay? I could see the truth in real time. All right? Um, I see Satan. Satan can't hide from me anymore. Okay? Satan is fear. Fear is Satan. Satan can't hide from me anymore. Okay? I was attacked by evil. Okay? Satan attacked me with evil. Okay? So, just so you know. Satan attacked me with evil. Okay? Um, I was constantly being attacked by prejudgment, prejudice, and hate down through the years. Okay? Constantly. I am in the war for heaven. I am a warrior for heaven. Okay? I fight evil for Jesus Christ. Okay? I fight evil for Jesus Christ. I am defending heaven. Okay? I am defending heaven. Alright? My love is unbreakable. Okay? I am unbreakable love. Evil can't break me. Alright? So. Okay? And I don't bow and break to prejudice and hate. Okay? Alright? Uh, and that's what I'm here to show you. I'm here to show you how to only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love, and heaven. Okay? I only want you to bow and break to Jesus Christ, love, and heaven. Okay? That is the forces of love. Okay? Alright? Uh, yeah. Right? I don't bow and break to prejudice and hate. I only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love, and heaven. Okay? I believe in heaven again. Okay? When you think of Jesus Christ, think of a pure love and freedom for your soul. Because that's what heaven is. Heaven is a beautiful, tranquil, pure love and freedom for your soul. That's what heaven is. Okay? And that's what evil attacks. Evil attacks love and freedom. Evil Attacks love and freedom and creates fear. That's what evil does. Evil attacks love and freedom and creates fear. That's what evil does, okay? By keeping you in fear, you are under Satan's control. Okay? The evil is there to keep you in fear, so you're under Satan's control. Okay? That is the reason why evil is there. To keep you under Satan's control. Keep you in fear keep you under Satan's control. Okay? Alright? I am in the war for heaven. Okay? I am telling you the truth. Okay? This is the truth from heaven. Okay? I know the entire truth from heaven. Okay? I learned this truth from heaven. Okay? I learned the difference between the forces of love and evil from heaven. Okay? Alright? So I'm explaining this to you. I am in a war for heaven. I'm gathering the intelligence. Okay? Let's just say I'm gathering all the intelligence and I'm delivering it to you. Okay? Alright? At Jesus Christ love in heaven, we love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. 
Okay? Jesus Christ has your back. Okay? All right? So, all right, so what else? Um, if you live in fear, you defend Satan. If you live in fear, you defend Satan. Okay? If you remove your fear, you defend heaven. Okay? If you live in fear, you are programmed by Satan to attack heaven with prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. Okay? If you live in fear. If you live in fear, you are programmed by Satan to attack heaven with prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. Evil. Okay? Prejudgment, prejudice, and hate is evil. Okay? Because I was attacked by a lot of it. Okay? All right? Um, when you remove your fear, you'll be defending love and freedom with its forces of love. Okay? When you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, this is what you're doing. You're defending your love. You're defending heaven while delivering your soul to heaven. Okay? You'll be defending love and freedom with its forces of love when you defend heaven. Okay? All right? When you make your love unbreakable, you're defending heaven. Okay? Right? That's what evil does. Evil breaks love. It keeps it weak in fear. Okay? If we make you unbreakable, evil's not going to be able to break your love anymore. When we make your love unbreakable, you're defending heaven. Okay? When you win, heaven wins. Okay? When you win, heaven wins. Okay? The prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards are there to break love. That is the reason why they're there. They are there to break love. And keep it weak in fear. Okay? The prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards. Okay? They are there to break love, keep it weak in fear. Okay? By keeping you in fear, you never see the truth from heaven, and you will never deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? That's what's keeping your soul out of heaven, is the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. Okay? And fear. This is what's keeping your souls out of heaven. Okay? I'm going to show you how to overcome this, so you can deliver your souls to heaven. Okay? All right? Um, the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards, they are enemy combatants to heaven. Okay? They are enemy combatants to heaven. Okay? Their souls are not going to heaven. Okay? You're in a war. Okay? I do not forgive the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. Demons, trolls, and cowards. I do not forgive the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards. Okay? I don't forgive them because I am in a war. This is not a religion. This is a war. Okay? Right? If you were fighting in a war and you forgave the enemy, you would never win the war. Okay? Well, think of that. Okay? You can talk to Jesus anytime you want. And ask him for forgiveness. Okay? Alright? So, you're a lot closer to heaven than you think. Okay? Alright? We always believe in ourselves. Believing in yourself increases the forces of your love. Okay? Because that removes your fear. Okay? So we always believe in ourselves. Yes, we can deliver our soul to heaven. Okay? That's going to remove your fear. Okay? That's going to increase the forces of your love. Okay? That builds courage. Okay? That will build courage. Okay? To make your love unbreakable, we never give up the win against evil. That's going to make your love unbreakable. Okay? So evil can't break your love anymore. Okay? Because that's what evil does. Evil is there to break love, keep it weak in fear. That's the reason why evil is there. To break love, keep it weak in fear, so you're always under Satan's control. That is the reason why evil is there. Okay? I was attacked by a lot of evil. I know the truth. Okay? 
I fight evil for Jesus Christ. I know the truth. Okay? And why your souls are not in heaven. Your souls belong in heaven while you're alive. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to put your soul back there where it belongs. Okay? Alright? That's what I'm here to do in my videos. Okay? Alright? I was attacked by a lot of evil. I know. Okay? Alright, um, what else can I explain to you? Uh, fear. Satan is fear. Fear is Satan. Okay? Alright? Fear goes against two things. Fear goes against you believing in yourself and believing in heaven. Okay? Fear is not allowed in heaven. Okay? Fear is not allowed in heaven. Okay? So I figure I'll let you know that now. Okay? So you may want to remove your fear. Okay? The spirit of fear is not allowed in heaven. Okay? Because the spirit of fear is Satan. Okay? So, let's figure I'll let you know that now. Okay? Uh, what else? Um, you are in a war. This is not a religion. Okay? Once you become unbreakable, you enter the war for heaven. Okay? Alright? What you're doing is by never giving up to win against evil, you're making your love unbreakable. Okay? So this way you don't bow and break to prejudice and hate. Okay? By making your love unbreakable, you will stop bowing and breaking to prejudice and hate when you make your love unbreakable. Okay? Because that's what evil does. Evil breaks love. Okay? So what happens if you don't bow and break to prejudice and hate, you will learn the difference as you increase the forces of your love. You will learn the difference between good and bad when you start to remove your fear. Okay? As you remove more and more and more of your fear, you're going to learn the truth from heaven. Okay? And you'll start learning the difference between the forces of love and evil. Okay? Alright? Jesus Christ's love in heaven is the forces of love. Okay? Alright? And the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate is evil. Okay? Alright? What the prejudice and hate is the corruption that is in love. This is what makes us prejudge and hate. Is that corruption. And when we remove our fear, we will remove that corruption out of our love. When we remove that fear out of our love. When you remove the fear out of love, you remove the corruption known as prejudice and hate out of your love. When you do this, you will stop prejudging and hating others. When you remove your fear, you will stop prejudging and hating others. Okay? All right? I know the truth about prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. And I learned this truth from heaven. Okay? Because I delivered my soul to heaven. All right? That's how I know the truth. Okay? I'm a defender for heaven. All right? I'm a warrior for heaven. Okay? And I'm going to explain everything I know to you so you can conquer evil and deliver your souls to heaven. Okay? All right? I get attacked by a lot of prejudice and hate. Believe me. Okay? It never ends. All right? So, because I delivered my soul to heaven, I get attacked by a lot of evil. Okay? So, I know the truth. Okay? So, all right? So that, that explains that. Okay? We only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love, and heaven. We don't bow and break to anything else. That is the best hint I can give you right there. Okay? And I do not bow and break the prejudice and hate. I do not bow and break the prejudgment, prejudice and hate, which is down here on the planet. Okay? All right? The forces of love is from heaven. Okay? 
Jesus Christ, love in heaven is the forces of love. Okay? When you think of Jesus Christ, think of a pure love and freedom for your soul. Because that's what heaven is. Heaven is a pure love and freedom for your soul. Okay? All right? All right. So let's move on. Uh, well, let's talk about the war for heaven now, okay? What happened was, a long, long time ago, back before civilization, this goes long before Jesus Christ, this is back before civilization, Satan started a war against heaven, okay? And back before this war started against heaven, you were delivering your souls to heaven, okay? Because you had this instinct in you, okay? Because back before civilization, we had to survive in the wild. In order to survive in the wild, we had this instinct in us that delivered our souls to heaven. Okay? That instinct is believing in yourself. Yes, you can. Okay? And never giving up to win against whatever. Never giving up to win to survive in the wild. Okay? All right? And that's what happened. Okay? Yes. That was back when we were human animals, back when we were caveman, cave woman, Indians, things like that. We were delivering our souls to heaven because we'd never give up to win. Okay? To survive in the wild. We believed in ourselves and we never give up to win. Okay? And that kept our souls in heaven while we were alive. Okay? All right? And then what happened was Satan got kicked out of heaven. And when Satan got kicked out of heaven, everybody went into fear. Okay? And when everybody went into fear, you all stopped delivering your souls to heaven. Okay? All right? And when you stop delivering your souls to heaven, this is where prejudgment, prejudice, and hate was created. Okay? The prejudgment, prejudice, and hate was created. And then evil was created off of that. Okay? And this is where evil was created, back when Satan got kicked out of heaven. This is when the war started against heaven. Okay? All right? And what happened was Satan hid. Satan hid from us. Okay? He hid within fear. Satan hides within fear. Okay? He hid from us. So you never deliver your souls to heaven. Okay? Alright? So, Satan hid a war from you, so you never deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? Alright? That's what happened. Okay? And then what happened was, when Satan got kicked out of heaven, things like socialism, communism, and dictatorships, these are evil. This keeps your soul out of heaven. Because they keep you in fear. Okay? By keeping you in fear, you will always prejudge and hate. Okay? That's why the fear is there. The fear is there to make you prejudge and hate. Okay? Satan is fear. Fear is Satan. Fear is not allowed in heaven. Satan is not allowed in heaven. Okay? That's why it's so important to remove your fear. Okay? Alright? And then what happened was that broke the instinct when the war started against heaven. When Satan got that broke the instinct. Okay? That made you give up. That's what it did. Because that's what evil does. Evil makes you give up. Prejudice makes you give up. That's the reason why it's there. The reason prejudice is there is to make you give up. Okay? It's to make you give up so you never deliver your soul to heaven. That is the reason why it's there. That is the reason why prejudice is there. Is to make you give up so you don't deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? Alright? So, fear is not allowed in heaven. I'll say that again. Okay? Alright? And that's, that's the war for heaven. Okay? Things like socialism, communism, and dictatorships. These are evil. Okay? These keep your souls out of heaven. Okay? Alright? Uh, 
You want a pure love and freedom for your soul. If you want to deliver your soul to heaven, you want to live in a pure love and freedom. If you want to deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? All right? So, just forgot to let you know that. Okay? Um, we get attacked by evil a couple different ways. If you're a country or a group of people and you get attacked by evil, you get attacked by terrorism. Okay? This attacks love and freedom and creates fear. Okay? Terrorism. It attacks love and freedom and creates fear. All right? It keeps you in fear. This keeps your love weak. Okay? That's what evil does. All right? Uh, what else? Um, if you're one individual and you get attacked by evil, repeat after me. Prejudgment, prejudice, and hate is evil. Okay? Prejudgment, prejudice, and hate is evil. If you're one single individual and you get attacked by evil, you get attacked by prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. Okay? Right? This also attacks their love and freedom, keeping their love weak in fear. Okay? This is known as breaking. Okay? They call this breaking, okay? When they break them, okay? What they're doing is they're breaking them. And this is making his love weak. By keeping his love weak, he will obey. Okay? All right? That will keep him in control. That will keep him in Satan's control. Okay? That's called breaking. Right? By keeping their love weak, they stay in fear. That's what it does. Evil keeps you in fear. So you're under Satan's control. That is the reason why evil is there. Okay? Alright. Uh, yeah. Okay? Things that are created from fear. Um, Prejudgment, prejudice, and hate is created from fear. Okay? Fear is created from the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. What that is, is that's evils created from fear. Fear is created from evil. This is a vicious cycle. Vicious cycle that keeps your soul out of heaven. Okay? Alright? That is a vicious cycle that keeps your soul out of heaven. Fear creates evil. Evil creates fear. That's what's keeping your soul out of heaven. The reason evil is there is to keep your souls out of heaven. That is the reason why evil is there. There's no other reason why it's there. It's there to keep your souls out of heaven. Okay? Alright? Just so you know. And Satan is fear. Okay? So. Alright? Uh, what else? Um, terrorism. Terrorism is created from prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, which is created from fear. Okay? Alright? Mental illness and suicide is the causes and effect between prejudgment, prejudice, and hate and its forces of love. Okay? Because it causes mental illness and it breaks them into suicide. That's what it does. I went into mental illness when I was attacked by evil. I went into mental illness. Okay? Alright? It tried to break me into suicide but couldn't. Because I never give up to win. Winners don't quit, quitters don't win. That made my love unbreakable. Okay? I had no fear in me when I was attacked by evil. That's how I survived it. Okay? So, um, yeah. What evil does is evil causes mental illness and suicide. Okay? What it does is it causes mental illness on a person, all right? And what it does is it tries to break them. And when the person gives up, because that's what prejudice does, prejudice makes you give up. And it's, what's in evil? Prejudice. And hate is in evil, okay? And this makes you give up, okay? And when a person gives up, they commit suicide, okay? We never ever want you to give up to win against evil. Never ever give up to win against evil. That will prevent suicide. Okay? Alright? If you commit suicide, Satan wins. If you don't commit suicide, you win. Okay? Alright? Uh, what else? 
Um, we got hate and corruption. Where you have hate and corruption, you have pain and suffering. Okay? What causes hate and corruption is uh, fear. Because love is weak. Where you have weak love, you have hate and corruption, which is prejudice and hate. Prejudice and hate is hate and corruption. Okay? Because they bow and break to prejudice and hate. They bow and break to hate and corruption. Okay? That's weak love, which is love that is in fear. Okay? Where there's a lot of prejudice and hate and weak love. Okay? Well, in order to combat that, what we need to do is to remove the fear. When we remove the fear, we fight back prejudice and hate. This fights back hate and corruption also. When you increase the forces of love, you will fight back hate and corruption. Okay? Because you're going to fight back prejudice and hate. You know if everybody removed their fear and delivered their soul to heaven correctly, we can wipe the evil off this planet. Did you know that? Well, now you do. Okay? Did you know if you remove all your fear, you become a not sinner and your soul enters heaven? Well, now you do. Okay? All right? Uh, chaos. Chaos is created from prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, which is created from fear. All this bad stuff you see going on around the world is created from prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, which is created from fear. Okay? All right? Uh, yeah. Okay? Uh, you being a sinner, that's caused from your own fear. You being a sinner. Because when you remove all your fear, you become a non-sinner. You know when you remove all your fear, you will stop prejudging and hating others. When you remove your fear, you will stop prejudging and hating others. Okay? Uh, yeah. Alright? Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's it for that. When you remove all your fear, you become an odd sinner, your soul enters heaven. Okay? From removing your fear. When you remove all your fear, your soul enters heaven. Okay? What makes you sin is your own fear. That's what makes you a sinner. Okay? Because this corruption, the corruption of prejudice and hate is in the fear. The corruption of prejudice and hate is in the fear. When you remove the fear, we remove the corruption known as prejudice and hate. Okay? All right. Uh, what else? Um, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you how to remove your fear and deliver your souls to heaven. Okay? This is pretty much how to conquer evil is what this is. Okay? That's what these videos are all about. Conquering evil. Okay? Because this is what I'm showing you how to do. Because as you deliver your soul to heaven, the forces of your love conquers evil. Okay? Alright? We never give up the win against evil. Never give up the win against evil. Okay? Jesus Christ never gives up to win against evil. Okay? Alright? Jesus Christ never gives up the win against evil. That's how Jesus Christ conquered evil. Okay? I want you to do the same thing. I want you to say to yourself, I'm never going to give up to win against evil. I will never give up to win against evil. Okay? Alright? Um, what that's going to do is that's going to make your love unbreakable. Okay? Now, in order to increase the forces of your love, what we're going to do is we're going to believe in ourselves Yes, you can deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? Believe in yourself. Yes, you can deliver your soul to heaven. But that's going to do, that's going to start removing the fear. Okay? So what we're going to do is, you're going to believe in yourself. Yes, you can deliver your soul to heaven. And you're never going to give up the win against evil. That's going to make, what that's going to do, that's going to remove the fear. And we're going to keep the fear out. We're going to remove the fear and keep the fear out. 
That's what we're going to do, okay? What this is going to do is, this is going to increase the forces of your love. This will increase the forces of your love, okay? And as we increase the forces of your love, you're going to build courage, okay? You'll build courage, yeah. And what else? Um, this starts to make your love powerful and unbreakable, just like Jesus Christ, okay? When you do this, you're following Jesus Christ to heaven against evil, okay? You're following Jesus Christ to heaven against evil, okay? You're still following Jesus Christ to heaven. You're following him to heaven against evil. You're making your love powerful and unbreakable. Just like Jesus Christ. Okay? Alright? So, yeah. Okay? Um, so you're always going to believe in yourself, and you're never going to give up to win against evil. Okay? Alright? Um, this is how animals deliver their soul to heaven, the same way. Okay? Animals have an instinct in them. I think, I don't know, yeah. Animals have an instinct in them. Okay? It's believing in themselves and they never give up. And that keeps their souls in heaven while they're alive. That's how animals deliver their souls to heaven too. Okay? Alright? That's why animals are unconditional love. Okay? So, but you're doing the same thing. Okay? You're always believing in yourself and you're never giving up to win against the evil. Because it's evil that is keeping your soul out of heaven. Okay? All right? So, okay? And what that's going to do is that's going to increase the forces of your love and make you unbreakable. So you have powerful, unbreakable love, just like Jesus Christ. And you're following Jesus Christ to heaven against evil. Okay? All right? Now we're going to talk about um, don't fear God. Okay? I don't want you fearing God. You make God your best friend. Okay? You make Jesus Christ your best friend. Okay? Do you fear your best friend? No. So make Jesus Christ your best friend. Okay? You can make me your best friend. That's okay too. Because I already delivered my soul to heaven. Okay? So make us your best friend. Okay? At Jesus Christ love in heaven. We love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Okay? We, at Jesus Christ's love in heaven, we love you, we pray for you, we cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, Jesus Christ has your back. Jesus Christ loves you. Okay? I love you too, but Jesus Christ also loves you. Okay? Alright? Because we want you to deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? We love you. All right? All right? And make Jesus Christ your best friend. Do you fear your best friend? No. Don't fear your best friend. Okay? All right? Don't fear the forces of love. Jesus Christ, love in heaven. Don't fear the forces of love. Okay? All right? We love you. Okay? We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Jesus Christ always has your back. Okay? Alright? I already delivered my soul to heaven. I'm part of heaven. Okay? So, alright? So I'm giving this message to you. Okay? I'm delivering this message to you. Okay? Alright? We want you to remove your fear. We don't want you fearing God. We want you to make God your best friend. Make Jesus Christ your best friend. Okay? Alright? There's no fear in judgment. You don't have to fear judgment. Because there is no judgment. There is no judgment in the forces of love. Okay? Alright? So, you're the judge whether you want to deliver your soul to heaven or not. You're the judge. Okay? So you don't have to fear judgment, okay? Uh, death. You don't have to fear death because if you deliver your soul to heaven before you die, you're going to win after you die. After you die, you're going to win. You're going to win when you die. 
If you know you're going to win when you die, you're not going to fear death. Okay? So don't fear death. Okay? So these are the three things you're not going to fear. You're not going to fear God. You're not going to fear judgment. And you're not going to fear death. I don't fear that. Okay? I don't fear God. I don't fear judgment. And I don't fear death. Okay? Because I already delivered my soul to heaven. Okay? All right? Okay. And you're only going to bow and break to Jesus Christ, love, and heaven. You're not going to bow and break to anything else. Okay? You're only going to bow and break to its forces of love. Okay? Uh, what else? Um, do what they say can't be done. Now, what I mean by do what they say can't be done, I want I want you to overcome the laws of prejudice. Okay? The laws of prejudice is things like I can't, I cannot, you can't, you cannot, that's impossible. Those are the laws of prejudice. Those are there to make you give up. Okay? Those are there to make you give up. Okay? We don't ever want you to give up to win against evil. Okay? So, we want you to bust the laws of prejudice. Okay? We don't want evil breaking you. We want you to break evil. Do you understand? We want you to bust prejudice. We want you to bust the laws of prejudice. When you bust the laws of prejudice, you break evil. Okay? That's what we want you to do. We want you to break evil. We don't want evil breaking you. We want you to break evil. Okay? All right? Because that's what evil is there. Evil is there to break you. That's the reason why it's there. If you never ever give up the win against evil, evil can't break you anymore. Okay? All right? So, the reason evil is there is to keep your soul out of heaven. That is the reason why it's there. Okay? We want you to bust the laws of prejudice. Okay? All right? And as you're removing more and more of your fear, your love is going to become more and more powerful and unbreakable, just like Jesus Christ. And what's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to start seeing the truth. You'll start seeing the truth from heaven. Because heaven is the truth. When it comes to fighting evil and delivering souls to heaven, heaven is the truth. Okay? So what you're going to start doing is you're going to start seeing the truth in real time. You'll start seeing the truth in real time. You may start seeing evil. You may start seeing prejudice and hate, depending on if, how many times you get attacked. Because you're entering the war for heaven. Okay? All right? So, what's going to happen is, as you remove more and more of this fear, you're going to stop prejudging. And hating others. You will stop prejudging and hating others. You will automatically behave. Okay? Uh, what else? Um, I said you'll start seeing the truth. Uh, heaven is the truth. When it comes to fighting evil and delivering souls to heaven, heaven is the truth. Okay? Um, what else? Um, as you remove more and more of your fear, you'll see more and more of this truth. Okay? What's going to happen is you're going to start overcoming things. Okay? I overcame drinking a long time ago. Okay? I want you to overcome your bad habits. Okay? The, what, the biggest one I want you to overcome is suicide. I want you to overcome suicide. Okay? That's a tough one. I want you to overcome suicide. So when you get attacked by evil, you can handle it. You know what I mean? People get attacked by evil, they commit suicide. What I want you to do is remove all your fear and overcome suicide. Never give up to win against evil. That's going to prevent suicide. Okay? So we want you to overcome suicide. Okay? We want you to remove your fear and overcome suicide. Okay? All right? 
And then uh, what's going to happen is, as you're removing more and more of your fear, your soul's going to enter heaven. You're going to become a non sinner. What's going to happen is you're going to start overcoming your bad habits. Eventually, you start overcoming your bad habits. They may not be easy to break, but you can because you're increasing the forces of your love. Yes, you can. Yes, you can overcome this. Yes, you can overcome that. I overcame drinking. Okay? I was attacked by evil, then I overcame smoking. I overcame suicide because I was attacked by evil. I was attacked by evil and overcame suicide. Okay? I went to the sea of anxiety when I was attacked by suicide. Uh, when I was attacked by evil. Okay? What prevented me from committing suicide is I had no fear in me. I had no fear in me when I was attacked by evil. Winners don't quit, quitters don't win. That made my love unbreakable. Okay? What happened was my soul entered heaven first. Okay? I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. Then I was attacked by evil afterward. I was fired and blacklisted from my career for delivering my soul to heaven. I was fired and blacklisted. I am prejudged and hated. I am a threat to Satan. Because I know this, I am a threat to Satan. Okay? The forces of my love react against fear, causing me to get prejudged and hated. I drive the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards. I drive them mad. And then they attack me with prejudice and hate. Okay? Because I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. This is how I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. It's believing in yourself removes your fear. Then you got to keep the fear out. So in order to keep the fear out, it's... Never give up the win against evil. That's going to make you unbreakable. So you have powerful, unbreakable love. Just like Jesus Christ. The first thing I learned when my soul entered heaven was that Jesus Christ is unbreakable. Jesus Christ was unbreakable even on the cross. He could not be broken. Even when he was on the cross, he could not be broken. Okay? Alright? I learned that from heaven. Okay? And this is what I'm teaching you in my videos. Okay? I want you to overcome. Because when you, when you deliver your soul to heaven, you'll start seeing the truth from heaven. Maybe you'll learn the truth about Jesus Christ. Just like I did. I hope you do. Then this way you all know that I'm really trying to deliver your souls to heaven. This is the truth. I learned how to fight evil from heaven. I never read the Bible. Everything I tell you comes from heaven. I only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love, and heaven. I don't bow and break to anything else. That's how I know that this is the truth. Okay? Alright? What happened was, what's happening, what's going to happen is you're going to overcome your bad habits. As you increase the forces of your love, you will overcome your bad habits. Eventually, okay? If you keep increasing the forces of your love, eventually you will overcome your bad habits. You'll be able to, to, you know, break them, whatever. Break your bad habits, okay? And then what happens is, as you become a non-sinner, your soul's going to enter heaven. That means you win, okay? When you win, that means you conquered evil. That means your love is conquering evil, okay? We never give up to win against evil. But now on, that's going to keep your soul in heaven while you're alive, okay? You in heaven never lose, okay? When you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, this is what you're doing. You're defending your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven, okay? You'll be defending love and freedom with its forces of love, okay? All right? You'll be defending heaven. Because you removed your fear. What did I say? Remove your fear. Defend heaven. Okay? Alright? Uh, what, what happens is, what's going to happen is, 
You may get attacked by evil, you may not get attacked by evil. It depends on the environment that you're in. I was attacked by evil because I lived in a quagmire of hate. I lived in a quagmire of hate. So I was attacked by evil. Okay? All right? What happened was when I was attacked by evil, I went into a, a I went into a, a sea of an anxiety. Okay? I was prejudged and hated. Okay? What happened was I was fired and blacklisted never to work again in the United States of America because I'm prejudged and hated. I am a threat to Satan. Okay? So what happened was I went into I went into a sea of anxiety. I went to mental illness is what happened. Okay? And I was in there for a long time. I went into a deep depression to where it hurt. Okay? I was there for a long time. Years. I was there for years. Okay? I was in an outpatient program because of this. Okay? I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. My life was over. At that point, when I was attacked by evil, my life was over. And I didn't know what I was going to do. And when I was attacked by evil, my life was over. And I'm there in a sea of anxiety, sitting there in a deep depression not knowing what I'm going to do with my life. I went to mental illness. I was hurt for a long time. And then what happened was uh, they were doing karaoke and I uh, started singing. When I started singing, I started feeling better. So I, what I did was I made singing a talent. And when I made singing a talent, I pursued it. When I started pursuing it, I started feeling better. I started feeling better. Okay? And I actually pulled myself out of the depression. Okay? And when I started rehearsing my songs, I started seeing the truth from heaven again. Okay? And that's when I started fighting evil. Okay? When I started rehearsing my songs, years later, okay? Heaven asked me to fight prejudice, okay? Heaven asked me to fight prejudice, and that order came from heaven, okay? Heaven asked me to fight prejudice, so I, that's what I'm doing, I'm fighting prejudice. Prejudice is the corruption that is found in love, okay? It's the same corruption that Jesus Christ was going after. Okay? Alright? So, so here's the deal. Your soul enters heaven, you become a non-sinner, your soul enters heaven. Okay? That means you conquered evil. You in heaven never lose. When you deliver your soul to heaven correctly, this is what you did. You deliver, you, yeah, this is what you did. You defend your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven, you defend love and freedom with its forces of love. Okay? That protects your soul on the way to heaven. Okay? That protects your soul on the way to heaven. Okay? Alright? Um, what else? Um, I only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love and heaven. I do not bow and break to prejudice and hate. Okay? I made my love unbreakable, just like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is unbreakable love. I proved this. Jesus Christ is unbreakable love. He was unbreakable, and he still is unbreakable. You got to become unbreakable love to put your soul back in heaven where it belongs. Okay? All right? So... Alright, so I, let's move on to the next segment of the video. Uh, let's talk about the causes and effect between evil and its forces of love. Okay? Let me explain what evil is first. Okay? 
Uh, we have our evil, prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards. Okay? That's evil. Okay? They attack the truth from heaven. They hate heaven. And they attack the forces of love that come from heaven. They live in fear. Okay? What did I say? The prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, evil, demons, trolls, and cowards, they live in fear and they attack the truth from heaven, they hate heaven, and they attack the forces of love that come from heaven. Okay? They live in fear. Okay? What did I say? Live in fear, defend Satan. Remove your fear, defend heaven. Okay? If you live in fear, you are programmed by Satan to attack heaven with prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. If you live in fear. Okay? All right? So what happens is, that's, okay? The prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards, they are enemy combatants to heaven because you're in a war. This is a war. This is not a religion. This is a war. Okay? So the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards, these are enemy combatants to heaven. Okay? All right? Their souls are not going to heaven. Okay? All right? All right? Okay? Now, I'm in the war for heaven. I don't forgive them. I don't forgive the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards. Okay? I don't forgive them. You want to know why I don't forgive them? Because I'm in a war. Okay? If you were fighting in a war and you forgave the enemy, you would never win the war. Okay? All right? Okay? Now you're delivering your soul to heaven. This is what you're doing, okay? You're defending your love. You're defending heaven while delivering your soul to heaven, okay? You're defending love and freedom with its forces of love, okay? What did I say? Evil attacks love and freedom and creates fear. Evil attacks love and freedom and creates fear. Well, you'll be defending love and freedom with its forces of love, okay? All right? Now what happens is, because you're defending love and freedom with its forces of love, your love is going to react against fear. Your love is going to react against fear. Okay? And when your love reacts against that fear, you're going to drive the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards. You're going to drive them mad. Okay? That drives them mad. Then they attack you with prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. This is what they attack you with. Hate, ball breaking, chop breaking, the stabbing in the back, prejudice and attack. They talk behind your back. They blame you for this, blame you for that. Everything is your fault. Nothing you do is ever good enough, etc., etc., etc. Forget about it. That's what they attack you with. Okay? All right? Don't give up. Don't give in. Always win against evil. Don't give up. Don't give in. Always win against evil. That's going to make your love unbreakable. Okay? That's going to make your love unbreakable. And when he can't break your love, that's going to drive him mad. That drives him mad. Okay? All right? So, when the forces of your unbreakable love react against fear, that drives him mad. Okay? This is what happened to Jesus Christ. You know what happened to Jesus Christ? I'm going to tell you the truth, what happened to Jesus Christ. Okay? This is the truth I learned from heaven about Jesus Christ. Okay? Jesus Christ is powerful, unbreakable love. Okay? His love reacted against fear. Okay? The forces of his love, because he is, he is the forces of love, because his soul is already in heaven. His soul is already in heaven. So the forces of his love reacted against fear. Okay? And when the forces of his love reacted against fear, he was attacked by its prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards. He drove those prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards. He drove them mad. He drove them mad because the forces of his love reacted against fear. Okay? You want to repeat this again? The forces of his love Jesus Christ, the forces of his love reacted against fear.
driving the prejudgment, prejudice and hate, the evil, demons, trolls, and cowards mad. He drove them mad. Then they attacked him with prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. He, that's why he was prejudged and hated. Okay? Because the forces of his love reacted against fear. Satan is fear. And when the forces of his love reacted against fear, he was prejudged and hated. Because the forces of his love drove the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards, it drove them mad. Okay? And then when they put him on a cross, they couldn't break him. Even when he was on a cross, he was unbreakable. That means he never gave up to win. Jesus Christ never gave up to win against evil. That kept his love unbreakable. That's how Jesus Christ conquered evil. That means he won after he died because his soul stayed in heaven. His soul was already in heaven before they put him on the cross. His soul stayed in heaven after he died. The first thing I learned when my soul entered heaven was that Jesus Christ is unbreakable love and Jesus could not be broken even when he was on the cross. That is the first thing I learned the first week my soul entered heaven. I also learned that Jesus Christ was attacked by evil before he could show you how to deliver your souls to heaven. I also learned that from heaven. This is why I'm making the videos. Okay? Alright? So, uh, Jesus Christ won. His unbreakable love. Evil could not break him, even when he was on the cross. Evil could not break me. Evil can't break me. That's why my soul is in heaven right now. Okay? When you become unbreakable love, you win. Okay? When evil can't break you, you win. When you become unbreakable love, you're defending heaven. You're defending heaven. Okay? Don't give up. Don't give in. Always win against evil. When you win, heaven wins. When you win, heaven wins. You're defending heaven. Okay? Alright? Let's say you're defending love and freedom with its forces of love. You're defending heaven. Now because you're defending heaven, your love is going to react against fear. Your love reacts against fear. You drive the prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. Demons, trolls, and cowards. You drive them mad. And when you drive them mad, they attack you with prejudgment, prejudice, and hate. They attack you with hate, ball breaking, chomp breaking, the stabbing in the back, prejudice attack. They talk behind your back. They blame you for this, blame you for that. Everything is your fault. Nothing you do is ever good enough, etc., etc., etc. Forget about it, okay? That's what you get attacked by, because I was attacked by all of it. I was constantly attacked by that, okay? Don't give up, don't give in, always win against evil. Don't give up, don't give in, always win against evil. You don't have to say nothing at all. Don't give up, don't give in, always win against evil. That's going to make your love unbreakable, okay? When you make your love unbreakable, you win, okay? Because you're defending heaven. When you make your love unbreakable, you're defending heaven. The prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards are programmed by Satan to break love. Okay? The prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, demons, trolls, and cowards are programmed by Satan to break love. Okay? If you make your love unbreakable, they can't break your love anymore. That drives them mad! That drives them mad because your love reacts against their fear. Your love is too powerful and it hurts them. It hurts their prejudice. That's what it does. And then they attack you. Let's say somebody, let's say somebody hates you. They're breaking your balls, breaking your chops. They can't break you. So they're going to keep coming at you. They ain't going to leave you alone. 
I know, because I was attacked by it. Okay? And what's going to happen is they're going to keep breaking your chops, busting your balls, breaking your chops because they hate you. That's when you can tell them, hey, go pound sand, go kick rocks. Okay? Well, you can take your prejudice and hate. You can shove it up your... You can tell them where to stick it. You're defending heaven. You're defending heaven. You're unbreakable love. You're defending heaven. When you win, heaven wins. When you win, heaven wins. If you know you're going to win when you die, when you die, heaven wins because your soul stayed in heaven. When you die, you win because your soul stayed in heaven. Because you never give up the win against evil. You conquered evil. Okay? When we win, heaven wins. A good warrior never ever gives up to win against evil. They kick the crap out of evil and they deliver their soul to heaven. This is what I'm showing you in my videos. Is how to become a good warrior. Okay? When you get attacked by prejudgment, prejudice, and hate, don't give up, don't give in, always win against evil. You don't have to say nothing at all. You don't have to say nothing at all. Okay? Really, you can just sit there, not, not, not say nothing at all. Excuse me. Okay? All right? When you win, heaven wins. Okay? All right? And that's why I'm making these videos. Okay? So, I want you to win. I want heaven to lose, I want heaven, oh, I want heaven to win, I'm sorry. I want evil to lose, heaven to win. Okay? When you win, heaven wins. I want evil to lose, you to win. I want evil to lose, you and heaven to win. Because when you win, heaven wins. Okay? All right? I'm showing you how to become a warrior for heaven. And then you can take this information as you learn more from heaven. You can teach it to others too if you'd like. Okay? All right? This is how we fight evil. I am showing you how to fight evil in my videos. Okay? A good warrior never ever gives up. They kick the crap out of evil and they deliver their soul to heaven. Okay? We at Jesus Christ Love in Heaven, we love you, we pray for you, we cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, Jesus Christ has your back. Jesus Christ always has your back. You can talk to Jesus Christ anytime you want. You can ask him for forgiveness anytime you want. Your soul is closer to heaven than you think. Okay? So make Jesus Christ your best friend. Okay? Don't fear. Don't fear God. That is the biggest mistake. Everybody's fearing God. That is the biggest mistake right there. They fear God and then they fear the forces of love. Because they have fear in them. We need to remove the fear. When you remove all your fear, your soul enters heaven. You become a non-sinner and your soul enters heaven. That's what these videos are about. To show you how to remove all your fear so you can deliver your soul to heaven. Put your soul back in heaven where it belongs. Okay? So heaven wins. Okay? The more souls we put in heaven, the more heaven wins. Okay? Because when you win, heaven wins. I want you to win. I want evil to lose, you to win. Okay? All right? At Jesus Christ, love in heaven, we love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Jesus Christ always has your back. Okay? Until next week, I love you. Bye.